This is on the outside of my door. I was locked in my bedroom uh, during the day and at night. And as an eight-year-old, you really had to go to the bathroom, so. As a young child, I was born in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada in 1997 with uh, two right. sisters. And the part of the lock attaches to the door frame and then the other part attached to the door. So in between the door frame and the, the door, there's a small sliver of a crack. And I discovered some sticky mouse traps, and I discovered a flathead screwdriver. That was um, we were put into the system at two and uh, two and one years old. Flathead screwdriver inside the sticky mouse trap, um, and then stick it through the crack in the door, and attach it to this lock, and just slide it over and and, uh, and get out of my room that way, and let my sisters out to use the bathroom. And, um, and we got adopted together by a family that lived in Utah and they decided to move to Grant County, Indiana, and they um, lived out in the middle of the country, and for the next 13 years of our life, we were molested and abused by our adopted parents. It wasn't until we were 16 that we were able to get removed from that environment. You know, as I got into my journey of foster care, I was like um, thinking in my head, there's so many other kids out there that are struggling and so many other issues that we can solve in the system. And who better to advocate for those um, problems and flaws in the system than somebody who's lived it. My younger sister struggled, Emily struggled through um, uh, self-harming a lot as she got into um, foster care within the first um, six months is when she started um, self-harming and getting severe anxiety and um, passing out at school and um, she went into some residential facilities to try to get help with um, with those, those issues and um, we got split up after the a second foster home so that um, hurt us a lot too you know we were three peas in a pod during that whole experience so uh, being split up and being away from your siblings um, she would call me every night and um, it was uh, just heartbreaking not to be be there with her so um, she really struggled with that a lot as she grew older June 21st of 2016 is when she um, took her life and hung herself on some monkey bars in the in a park. I just started to realize, you know, somebody's got to carry her torch and somebody's got to be her voice. So um, it it was a month of of depression, and then I was able to to dig myself out a little bit. In the other room, I have 40 different inflatable costumes from Spongebob to the T-Rex to um, like a, a, um, a horse, a cow, a penguin, like Pillsbury Doughboy, like inflatable costumes that I walk down. Um, two of the biggest uh, roads here in Muncie, McGalliard, and another road on the south side. At this moment, I can be a kid again, you know, and, and try to, to live like a kid that I never was and never had the opportunity to be. So um, just able to to have a little bit of happiness and joy. And with the inflatables, you know, just waving at people, just trying to get a smile out of them, hoping that in my mind, if there's somebody who's planning on abusing their child or somebody that's planning on hitting their spouse that night, that they'll see SpongeBob or they'll see the Pillsbury Doughboy and say, oh, cute, and, and sort of change their emotions and perceptions. So that's really helped me um, continue to you know I'm just taking a walk just like I would be exercising only I'm, I'm doing a little bit something more a little bit something different that hasn't been tried before just to try to make others feel happy and it's made me happy in return of being able to um, feel needed and, and feel important and, and feel like I'm making a difference until tomorrow you know it's, it's making their day brighter and that's sort of what I why I do what I do so just trying to change people's emotions and make the world a little bit better place, a little bit brighter. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.